Saurabh Majumdar, India Today's Business Today's editor, joining us for a little more insights into Ratan Tata, his business acumen, and why he has this kind of affection pouring in today that he's gone. Saurabh, over to you on the, the, the principles that Ratan Tata set that will be emulated for generations to come. Give us five of the top, top qualities that are too tough to find in anyone else. Well, that's a, that's thank you, Nabila. That's an easy one, actually, because uh, Ratan Tata was in in every sense a peerless uh, individual. Uh, you know, if if I have had occasion to meet him a few times, uh, what comes through in in uh, Mr. Tata is that he is, of course, above all a visionary. I think that is very well established by everybody. The way he transformed the Tata Group uh, from a multi-diversified conglomerate it was, but then the scale to which he took uh, across the globe. Most importantly, the other thing was his ambition. And if he wanted something, he would try and get it. Look at the acquisitions he made, whether it was Chorus, whether it was J JLR, uh, Jaguar Land Rover, uh, whether it was Tetley. These were bold acquisitions. And remember, Tetley at the time was a bold acquisition. So was, uh, um, you know, uh, Jaguar Land Rover and Chorus. So I think, uh, you know, the, the boldness of his vision is one very key attribute. Uh, the other thing, uh, Nabila, is that he was, above all, a gentleman. He was, I would say, one of the very, very well-known gentlemen entrepreneurs, gentlemen business leaders. And that is very, very important because in everything, his integrity, when you talked about Ratan Tata, you, the first thought would come to your mind is integrity. Integrity, honesty of purpose. And, you know, in, in an interview, he had famously said that he would like to be remembered as a man who made a difference. And, and he has indeed made a difference, not just to the Tata Group, but also to the country's, um, you know, environment, uh, business environment as a whole, because he has brought gentlemanliness and integrity and honesty right to the forefront. And that is what Tata Group stands for. When you talk about Tata Group, it's all these are the values which he embodied himself. He was the Tata group in that sense. And, you know, therefore, leaders are those who attract followers. Mr. Tata, you can see from the kind of outpouring right now how many followers he had, not just among his own people, but also outside in the overall business world. So Ratan Tata was in every sense a true titan. A true titan and in the face of adversities for his own company. Um, and, and for the nation, because of the philanthropic ways uh, of his, he really stood as a bulwark where he invested his savings, his money, earnings, nearly 65% into social services, um, community uplifting and building. This uh, quality and virtue is certainly rare to find, even though there, there, there are uh, companies that have a set amount that they give for uh, social building and you know, philanthropic ways, but to, to actually donate and dedicate 65% of your savings uh, is unheard of. Absolutely, Navila, and I think uh, Mr. Tata stood for philanthropy, uh, not just in, uh, you know, in the group itself, which is also known for its philanthropic activities, but Mr. Tata personally, he was an absolute animal lover. He has done a lot for animal welfare, as you know. Uh, you know, so these were the, and as, as I said, he was a very kind person. As a person, Ratan Tata was kind, and, uh, you know, that kindness pervaded. You'll remember that occasion when he went to meet uh, a, 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 an employee in Pune all the way. And, uh, you know, that kind of, uh, you, these, these are things which, you know, stand apart for Ratan Tata. But equally, may I also add, Nabila, he was a man of purpose. You know, when he wanted to, you know, act uh, in a certain way for the benefit of the group and take tough decisions, he did not shy away. You will remember earlier years when he actually had to clean up a lot of those, the regional satraps, which we used to call them at the time, you know, those yeah. various uh, company satraps which were there. Uh, and he had, uh, you know, within a few months of his coming to, uh, you know, taking charge, many of these satraps found themselves uh, at odds with him and had to move on. 
you know so there were big names there was darbari said and there was a whole lot of others across his group companies but this young gentleman who came in at the time uh, after jrd really cleaned up uh, a lot of that and took you know he made it very clear that this was what he wanted for the group and that was what would have to happen equally if you see uh, it was a little bit of an unfortunate situation but his his uh you know the steps he took to even at the chairman level when he had that uh, disagreement uh, with with Cyrus Mistry the deceased now deceased late Cyrus yeah. Mistry um whom he had groomed he had to he took that a uh, call he wanted to uh, you know move ahead in a certain way at the tata group and he ensured that that would uh, you know that that uh, path would hold so he did not shy away despite the kindness the gentlemanly nature of ratan tata he did not shy away from taking tough calls and that's what distinguishes him from the from the, uh, from the others many others because you know he was a gentleman but yet tough when it ne- it was needed in the interest of uh, his group and in the interest of tata you know all through my years of growing up i uh, in bengaluru that that's where i was born and raised and i've heard uh, several stories of the goodness of ratan tata as a child so while growing up as a as as a youngster as a teenager i've heard several stories of how he donates to people how he how he's easily accessible that you could actually give him a ring and uh, and get an appointment if you have an idea you'll be able to pitch to him how often do you hear of a, of a business tycoon of that kind to be so accessible um and approachable and that that's really the quality that i think stands out as rare with ratan tata